Hello Grade 12s and welcome to the History Crew channel. In this video, I will try to guide you in preparing for this question which is, the crisis of apartheid during the 1980s. You will be expected to write an essay only, and I will now attempt to show you a pattern in the line of questioning, over the last few years. Let us begin by looking at some questions, which were taken directly from past exam papers. Now, let us slow things down a little bit, by looking at the questions more in depth. The first question was taken from the November 2017 question paper and it reads as follows. P.W. Bota's attempts at reforming the system of apartheid were met with intense international resistance. Critically discuss this statement with reference to the various forms of resistance that international anti-apartheid movements used to ensure the ultimate downfall of the apartheid regime in the 1980s. The second question was extracted from the November 2018 paper, and reads as follows. It was intense pressure from international anti-apartheid organizations that led to the political transformation in South Africa. Critically discuss this statement by referring to the various forms of resistance that the international anti-apartheid organizations embarked on which contributed to the eventual demise of the apartheid regime in the 1980s. The third question was taken from the November 2019 and reads as follows. Explain to what extent boycotts, disinvestments and sanctions by the international anti-apartheid movements were responsible for the eventual downfall of P.W. Bota's regime in the 1980s. Support your line of argument by using relevant evidence. If you've noticed that there are very similar characteristics between all three questions, then you would be correct. So, what did you notice? You would have noticed that in all three questions, they make reference to international anti-apartheid movements. You need to make sure then, that you only discuss anti-apartheid movements, which took place outside of South Africa and how these did indeed assist, in bringing about the downfall of the apartheid regime. The other aspect you would have recognized, is that in all three questions, the time period which you would have to focus on, is the 1980s. You would also have to ensure that you effectively discuss the various forms of international resistance during 1980s. These were, firstly the formation of the anti-apartheid movements and their goals. Keep in mind that the main goals of the anti-apartheid movements were to exert political and economic pressure on P.W. Bota and the apartheid state, to isolate South Africa from the rest of the world, as well as spreading awareness about the injustices of apartheid, and to exert pressure on international governments, so that they can, in turn exert even more pressure on the South African government. It would be very good for you, to continually emphasize these statements with evidence and examples, during the course of your essay. It's very important that you then move on to discussing the various forms of anti-apartheid boycotts such as the sports boycotts, the consumer boycotts, the academic boycotts, and the cultural boycotts. Remember to also give examples of each boycott and to also emphasize, that the purpose of these boycotts were to exert political and economic pressure on P.W. Bota and the apartheid state, to isolate South Africa from the rest of the world, as well as spreading awareness about the injustices of apartheid, and to exert pressure on international governments, so that they in turn exert even more pressure on the South African government. You would have also noticed that in the third question, you are required to support your line of argument. This simply means that that you must present your information systematically and logically. After you have discussed the various boycotts, you would then move on to discussing how effective sanctions and disinvestments were in exerting political and economic pressure on the apartheid regime, and further isolating South Africa from the rest of the world. You would then be required to discuss the free Mandela campaigns, the role of the international trade unions and then the role of African countries which were known as the frontline states, in supporting the fight against apartheid. When you have discussed the various aspects, in the order which is shown to you above, as well as explained to you, then you will be maintaining a good line of argument. Don't forget that all the questions, require you to explain how the anti-apartheid movements led to the downfall of the apartheid regime. So, you are still not convinced. Here is the memoranda for the last two years. This is the actual memorandum taken from the November 2019 paper. 
As you can clearly see, great emphasis was placed on the boycotts, disinvestments and sanctions, with examples, which you should do so too. Let us now look at some possible introductions to the questions. With the first question which reads as follows, P.W. Bota's attempts at reforming the system of apartheid were met with intense international resistance. Critically discuss this statement with reference to the various forms of resistance that international anti-apartheid movements used to ensure the ultimate downfall of the apartheid regime in the 1980s. A possible introductory response could be. During the 1980s, P.W. Bota did indeed try to implement some reforms in order to save the apartheid state and white control in South Africa. However, these reforms were met by various forms of resistance that international anti-apartheid movements used, to ensure the ultimate downfall of the apartheid regime in the 1980s, such as boycotts, disinvestments and sanctions which I will critically discuss in my essay. Now that you have taken an effective stance and gave a clear indication of what you will prove, you can then begin with the body of the essay. Keep in mind, that we are going to prove the anti-apartheid organizations did indeed assist in bringing about the downfall of apartheid. With regards to the next question which reads as follows. It was intense pressure from international anti-apartheid organizations that led to the political transformation in South Africa. Critically discuss this statement by referring to the various forms of resistance that the international anti-apartheid organizations embarked on which contributed to the eventual demise of the apartheid regime in the 1980s. A possible introductory response could be. The 1980s, was a decade of crisis for the apartheid regime. In response to a lack of positive, fair political transformation in South Africa various forms of resistance that the international anti-apartheid organizations embarked did contribute to the eventual demise of the apartheid regime in the 1980s. These were boycotts, disinvestments, sanctions etc., which I will critically discuss in my essay. You can also take note, that we are using the certain words from the question itself, to formulate our introduction. And we want to state clearly that in our essay, we are going to prove the international anti-apartheid organizations did indeed assist in bringing about the downfall of the apartheid regime. With regards to the third question, which reads as follows. Explain to what extent boycotts, disinvestments and sanctions by the international anti-apartheid movements were responsible for the eventual downfall of P.W. Bota's regime in the 1980s. Support your line of argument by using relevant evidence. A possible introductory response to this question could be. I agree to a great extent that boycotts, disinvestments and sanctions by the international anti-apartheid movements were responsible for the eventual downfall of P.W. Bota's regime in the 1980s, which I will critically explain in the course of my essay. You would notice that the question asked, to what extent? You are basically being asked as to how too much you agree. If you are agree emphatically, then you would say, I agree to a great extent, or, I strongly agree. If you did not agree so strongly with the statement, then you would be expected to state, I agree to a lesser extent. With this type of question, we want you to take a stance. We want you to be direct and state clearly if you agree or disagree and as to how emphatic or tentative you feel about the statement. Your conclusions are just as important as your introduction. You are basically repeating your introduction, but bringing a closure to your essay and summing up your points. After you have written your essay, you should read your essay and make edits where necessary. As a learning strategy, you could make an audio recording of your essay and listen to it repeatedly, when you are bored with just reading it. Do not forget though, that when you are writing your essay, we would appreciate it, if you would implement the Peel method for each paragraph. It will help you to write a well-planned, well-motivated essay, which will almost certainly guarantee you of a high-quality essay. But please take note, that I do not claim to know what the question, at the end of the year would be exactly. I have only noticed over the last few years though, that there is a pattern with regards to the questions, and it relatively safe to assume that this line of questioning will continue. And thus, I've tried to guide you, with regards to this. This is just a guide. There are no shortcuts. You must still study your content thoroughly and work with past exam papers. Study hard. Engage with your teachers. Do not leave your studying for the last minute. Thank you for watching this video. Share it with others, if it has been helpful. And I hope it has been. Don't forget to subscribe to the History Crew channel and good luck.